Hello everyone. Welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. This is the Great Expanse. Right, well, okay, so we need to get some uh, some cash going uh, to actually do anything. Now, I think we have enough loan that we can actually deliver wood to this uh, um, business here that just popped up. So we're going to uh, borrow everything we can and we're going to grab a road station which we we can put wow we can put it here yeah we'll put it there uh okay and we're going to do this right and then we're going to go over to wherever we have our wood production which is over here yep and we're going to go in here, we're going to buy a truck. Yeah, and that's going to be wood. We're going to grab that, and we're going to buy it. And that's going to need a schedule. So we're going to have to go here, right? Load it. And then we'll go up to here. And we will unload it. Yep, and that'll be full uh, loads either way. And we'll uh, save the thing. And we will duplicate it and release the ninjas okay so now uh, we have another source of income coming in which should help us out a little bit with uh, overall uh, cash flow right okay so that's another little bit and I'm just going to uh, leave that uh, bit open there uh, and we can slowly pay things off right okay so we're cur i'm currently researching gasoline engine 2 now the reason i'm doing that is it gets me better trucks and that's going to be definitely worth it we're eventually going to want to research diesel engines so we get even better trucks um we have a coal uh business down here which uh i think we might perhaps want to supply uh right so if we do that uh if we we don't have enough money um uh, we do now have enough money to chuck that in there yep okay and uh right where's our coal it's uh where is it that's iron that's coal right now we don't have enough to buy a truck yet um but let's get uh get set up so that we can uh, we need 32k for that uh, which we don't have uh, we will get that though uh, we just have to wait a little bit of time and then we will be able to deploy that uh, that truck out there and we'll get even more uh, cash coming in now that's kind of what we need right now right is cash coming in so yeah, that's that's why we're we're uh, deploying deliveries to the these businesses, right? I mean, why else would we be deploying uh, stuff to these businesses, right? Um, question is, is this going to get us enough cash before the research takes another bump of it? I could pause the research. I don't think I need to though uh there we go we got one okay now we go in here we add we add this and that's going to be a load we go over here and we add this and it's going to be an unload and again fulls and we'll save it okay we'll close that we need another 30k to duplicate that because we're going to need at least two trucks on here probably four uh realistically yeah probably um right so yeah we're gonna need another 32 four uh yeah yeah apparently we just uh, dropped a bunch of cash on research you know what i'm just gonna pause that and then we can go ahead and uh let the uh, 
the cache go up a bit faster so that we can deploy our uh, trucks. Uh, you know, I could deploy one and then duplicate it. Y you know, I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really could. And... Bam. We got... Okay, let's just activate that and release the ninjas. Yeah. Okay. I think... Yeah, I think I can get away with uh, a couple more on there. Um, that is, of course, going to require enough cash to come in to do that. Um, right. Okay. Uh, business uh, went out of business because we didn't provide a thing we can't make yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's going to happen. And, you know, anyone watching this that uh, feels uh, pressure uh, as a result of businesses going... Uh, out of business don't panic because even if they go out of business you wait a little while and another one will appear it might not be the same resource but another one will appear oh and you can duplicate a vehicle by clicking on its by doing the copy and clicking on its window that's a uh, kind of a nice quality of life thing in case you were wondering why i opened the window there <laughs> uh release that uh right and then when we get up we'll make another duplicate there and that should that should allow us to get a decent amount of coal going there. And then we'll have a few more. Um, well, things going on, right? A little more cash coming in. That's what would be going on. Yes, yes, that's right. Cash coming in. Uh, that's pretty much exactly what we want. You know, cash coming in. That'd be good. Duplicate. Release the ninja. Okay, good. Close that. Close that. Close that. Restart that. Okay. Now, uh, that's a little bit more uh, stuff going on. What's this have to say? Um, right. It has stuff to say. Uh, who knew? Right. Okay. So by by doing that, we have more cash coming in. Uh, this, uh, of course, research takes uh, quite a bit of cash. Uh, but the, the uh, updated trucks are well worth it. Bankruptcy avoided. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So... Right. Where did... Oh, um, right. That's where I put the, the thing. Uh, we need 3.2 million value for that to upgrade further. Right. Okay. That's fine. Um, now, oftentimes when I get bored, I start... Uh, I start tinkering with the town roads and fixing the uh, terrain so they can all link up and so on. And by the time I'm done... Uh, playing a map, then there'll be this massive grid of roads with cities running into each other all over the place. That might be what we end up with here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, at some point, though, uh, we are going to want to uh, produce some, some sort of organization to the chaos. And that organization uh, is going to involve resource distribution. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to set up a distribution hub for each base resource, right? Now, it occurs to me that the, uh, the easy place to do that is at the first uh, deposit of each resource that we're exploiting. And that does, in fact, keep the traffic largely contained, right, uh, for each resource in one part of the map. And then uh, we can distribute by truck and rail and whatever as needed from those locations. I mean, it looks cool to have a ginormous mega hub that uh, transports everything everywhere. But I, uh, try, I, I've tried building one of those a couple times. And I always end up 
uh, well, my brain breaks. Uh, if, if you must know, uh, my brain breaks. And then I have no idea what I'm doing. And I, you know, after I get halfway through it, um, and I don't think those mega freight hubs are going to work well until we have path signals in the, uh, in the game. Is there's too much blocking right in intersections and so on and making the hub even bigger to avoid direct crossovers and stuff is just not um, it's not practical right uh, you might be able to squeeze it in on a map like this with the extra large regions but yeah it's not particularly uh, uh, at the moment I don't think it's particularly practical well or practicable Anyway, uh, oh, you're using that uh, $15 word practicable, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of like it. Uh, you might be wondering, what's the difference between practical and practicable? Well, it might be practical to do things because, you know, there's a benefit or something. But it might not be practicable be because it might be infeasible to actually do. Uh, so you, know, you think of it as the base for practicable is practice and, uh, yeah. And that, uh, so if you can't put it into practice, it's not really practicable. Uh, even if it would be practical to do, if it was practicable. Yeah. Now that I've said that a bunch of times, it doesn't sound like a word anymore. Neither of them does, which is fine. Uh, but it's not going to stop me using the word. So, you know, there's that, uh, what did that say? I should actually read these things. Oh, something's accepting iron bar, which we can't do anything with. Okay. So, um, right. What we should do is look at where our uh, sec second tier base resources are. So we have uh, coal there and iron here. Yeah. And yeah, that's still iron. And this one is sand. Okay. And this one is coal. And this one is wood. This one is stone. We'll definitely want to go that direction. Uh, and this one is copper. Yeah, we definitely want to go this direction because we want stone first. Stone is what we need to get uh, better bridges. Uh, right. Okay. So, yeah. We're uh, pretty close to being done with gasoline engine too. Not really. Uh, yeah. So, stone. So, we're going to want to go to the Kodiak region here um, first um, for the expansion. Just because stone... It's going to get us better infrastructure, right? And that, that's that's really, really important. Better infrastructure. Right. Okay. So we haven't had another demand pop up uh, recently. So, uh, right. Uh, you're accepting more coal. We could deliver even more coal. Uh, but I want to avoid adding way, way more trucks just because I want to uh, be able to upgrade things to better trucks first. Uh, then we have fewer trucks tooling around the map for the same delivery potential, right? Um, now, if we look in here, that gives us... Um, seven capacity versus five yeah maybe not as worth it as it might be well it is a 40 percent increase so maybe not diesel engine needs and that gives us the the 11 capacity trucks okay and it's diesel engine two that we need to get to for the big 15 capacity trucks right yeah, okay. Uh, diesel engine three gives us tractor trailers. Semis. Uh, and these are 20 and 17. 
right. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to duck out of that. Uh, I'm going to go with the box trucks rather than the semis for most of my uh, delivery needs. Uh, mostly because I think they make more sense in the denser urban areas, right? Because uh, they're going to be more maneuverable, right? So that's going to make, make a difference right there. Uh, but we're going to need uh, iron bars, I think, before we can do diesel engines. So uh, we're going to have to do uh, uh, the smelting and we're going to have to do mining too, uh, which is going to need wood beams, which uh, means we're going to need to do wood processing. Yeah. Uh, so it gets, uh, you know, it gets a little bit complicated uh, in, you know, figuring out what to research early on, right? Now, of course, if you're playing uh, your own game, you don't want to deal with that. You, there's an option at startup to set all research completed, and then you can just do what you want with what you have, right? And then it's all about making money. But, you know, th this adds a little bit of a challenge, and I think that's kind of the point. Uh, yeah, uh, I, th I rather think it is kind of the point. Uh, we have Sun Valley being a town. Um, right. Now, we could chuck some passenger lines here. More. Oh, wait. Um, uh, do we have... We're not running any buses, are we? Um, coal, wood... No, we're not running any buses. Well, we, maybe we could do that. Yeah, maybe we could do that. So Sun Valley is... Um, hmm. Okay. No. Okay, so here it's a mixed demand. Here it's a tourist. Yeah, if we if we ran some buses, uh, what's Queens? Um, um, tourist, yeah. And San Marino is industrial, right? Okay, so we could run some uh, local bus loops here that might be a thing to do okay let's start in cross it uh right okay so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get a uh, bus stop hmm two-way bus stop is more expensive but it does allow can't build there. Why? Uh, now we can build it there. Um, so if we build one here, we don't have enough money. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, if we build one, well, we could build it here. Yeah. And then we could build one here then we can go over here and chuck one in uh, hmm well we could chuck one in here yeah and we could chuck one in uh, where here need 73k for that yeah borrow yeah so if we chuck that in there okay now we uh, complete a couple roads there and we come up here and We, uh, I guess we, uh, complete that. That gives us a loop. Okay. Now, uh, we need a, 
a garage. Okay. Right. Well, what if we uh, chuck one of those? I don't know. Here? Yeah, why not? Okay. Can we? We can't. We can't name these. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to buy and we're going to go passengers. Now we have a bus that carries uh, 12 and goes at 50. And one that goes at 55 and carries 10. We're going to buy this one. Right. So we're going to do that. And we're going to click on it. And we're going to add a stop. Which is going to go here. transfer and then we're going to add a stop here transfer and then we're going to add a stop here transfer and we're going to add one here transfer yeah i think that will uh now is this uh Yeah, we want that. Okay, so we're going to save it as cross it bus loop. Okay. Now, um, I think I'm going to need a couple buses on there. And we will let it uh, go do a thing. Right. Now, I've got two buses on there because I think, oh, right, um, oh, oh, our research finished, okay, uh, right, let's uh, down tempo that, um, we'll repay that, okay, uh, some of it, and uh, we'll do this, now, uh, we want to do we're going to need wood processing. Mining 2 needs beams. These need stone. Uh, diesel engine needs uh, iron bars. Storages 2 needs beams. Uh, so we're going to do uh, wood processing first. Okay. So we're going to start doing that. And that needs wood. Okay. Uh, and to get this going, we are going to put a uh, freight station here uh, with a bit of cash. Yep. And this is going to be research park drop off A. I'm going to change this to research park drop off B right okay good now what we can do is we can grab all of these guys and do this so they don't uh, annoy us with we're not making any money ah right okay okay so we've got another drop-off point. Uh, we're going to need, let's speed that up now. We're going to need uh, a conveyor connection um, like this and like this, right? Whoops. And we're going to do this like that. Okay. And we're going to need to uh, this, and we're going to need to make it go that way. Okay. And we're going to go logistics. And we're not going to allow it to output to the lab directly. Okay. Uh, no. Right. Okay. Right. Good. Now, if we repay all of that, we need wood from here. Um, buy wood. 
Um, we'll buy one of those. Uh, right, and we'll add here, load, and then we'll go down here, uh, unload, do the full thing. Yep, we're going to save it. And good. And we're going to run two of those. That should be plenty. Release the ninjas. Good. Okay. Uh, that's going to get us a little bit of uh, progress on the uh, wood processing, which we're definitely going to uh, need to get to the next stage of everything, right? Okay. Now, let's go up to cross it. And uh, we'll uh, go here, and we're going to... Uh, turn off notifications on these. The whole reason we have these running, after all, is to uh, uh, get uh, get the um, town to grow a little faster, right? But we're also going to pick up. Um, passengers uh, on the buses and that's going to of course uh, help our uh, money situation slightly just slightly uh, right okay this was complaining about iron bar right yeah okay good right now uh, where are we now we're uh, we're researching uh, we're researching, yep, uh, the uh, wood processing, right, which is using up cash and wood. Um, we don't have any demands there. That, okay. Um, we have a demand here that we're not meeting here. Oh, okay. We could, uh, we could go in here and... Go over here, and we could um, we could add a couple more uh, trucks on there, right? Uh huh. We could do that. Okay, and here. Um, yeah, I think we could do the same here. Well, we got we got four on there already. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, right. And over here, we are doing... We have room. Uh, that's got four running already. Uh, this one... We have room. Yeah, that one could stand uh, a couple more. Okay. Okay, release those. Right. And this one. probably stand a couple more as well uh, maybe I'm gonna leave that one though uh, over here what have we got we've got that one definitely could use something uh, yeah okay Right. Uh, I'm going to double the number of trucks delivering coal there as soon as I have 34,000. Uh, yeah. Um, 
Okay, release the ninjas there. Okay, I think that's enough of that for the moment. Uh, that's going to get a little bit more cash coming in, I think. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, that one could also use uh, a couple more. Um, yeah, we don't have the cash to do it yet, but they could. Um, right. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, okay, I'm just going to close that down. We have completed wood processing. Okay, so that means we can go down here and uh, we're going to start a new research. Now, iron smelting would be brilliant, but I want to get I want to get mining two first. Iron smelting. Oh. Okay, that needs iron ore, uh, which we have. But I want to get mining too, so we get the uh, the quarries and, and stuff uh, for the other resources. So I'm going to do that. And that's going to require getting a, wood, a, a, a sawmill thing online. And that we're not going to do today. That's This is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, we've completed a couple of research tasks. Uh, our uh, cash should, should go up at a decent rate for the moment. And uh, we've uh, added some passenger action here. So now we have average passengers uh, Growth is excellent. Uh, demands, coal's average, iron ore is good, iron bar is awful because we can't make it yet. Okay, yes. Uh, now, let's just check in here. Uh, we're at almost 2 million for va company value. We need 3.2. Uh, we need 1.2 million more there, um, right? Okay. Anyway... Uh, that's uh, that's going to be all for this uh, this episode. Uh, I think it would be another episode, a couple episodes, I think, before we escape the uh, starting region here and head for stone. Uh, not completely sure on that, but we'll have enough cash uh, next time around to get some really basic lumber processing going. And uh, once we do that, we can get mining too and uh, storage too, uh, warehousing, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, the bigger warehouses, faster warehouses. Uh, and once we have that, uh, we'll be pretty much laughing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll be pretty much laughing because we'll, we'll be on our way to higher tier goods, which uh, pay a little bit more. Anyway. And that's uh, that's going to be all for this time. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. There's some sort of a light at the end of the tunnel, as far as I can tell. So uh, you know, let's uh, let's just hold out for that. Uh, it's going to end one way or the other anyway. So you know, just um, get on with life, and eventually it'll get better. Yeah. Uh, that, that's really what it comes down to. And of course, you can like, comment, subscribe, or hit the bell, or some combination of those uh, if you if you like. Uh, you might then get some sort of notification of new videos. Uh, I know, uh, that'd be a novel idea, wouldn't it? Uh, but of course, your mileage may vary, and it's entirely up to you. So, you know, do, do such things if you want, or don't. Yeah, whatever. And see you back next time.